Move it, Slade. They're coming. Flock of... Get ready for a fight. More corruption. Spiders. Zorkins and Amia. It should be my next destination. something weirdly as I haven't been hungry or thirsty since setting foot here. And that's not normal, is it? I mean, you Talans eat and drink, right? The foundation of Talan cuisine used to be Reese, and it still is for many poor people, because it's so cheap to cultivate. You will find many Reese fields between Bita and Emiya. The people of Emiya will tell you the taste of Reese doesn't compare to Morag's, and I must agree with them. In Sapa, they prefer to eat Senecta, but that's because they don't have access to anything other than fish, which is still more than Disan has. They used to import food from other regions, but haven't been able to since the Daokas went down. What about drinks? I drink water, but don't tell anyone in Bita. They only drink Lampe over there. Now, if you are talking about the thirst for knowledge, Procriana used to be the place. While Palana is more about drinking the spiritual words of our Master of Ceremonies, no matter how bitter they taste these bones. Okay, well, I don't know what the odds did to me, but I don't feel the need to put anything into me, so nothing comes out of me, which is quite convenient because I find it. We Talans have a seventh sense that filters out too much unnecessary information, Ulakai. Um, sure. Damn gorky smell. Hey, if the Yods can hear me, can you erase that memory for me?
Essence Shrine. Good old Slade's gonna catch that flying essence. I hate giant alien spiders. stuff. Yes, Lias. You sound worried. I know you are busy with the Almayel, but the next time you visit Kizar, could you please check on my daughter? Her name is Ishana. I haven't seen her in so many cycles. I miss her. I worry about her. Yeah, of course. I'll find her. I miss her as much as I miss her father, Jan. He reverted during the assault against the invaders. All the male Dolotai did. They were our beloved partners. Sorry to hear he's gone. I just wish the Almayel would have trusted his warning instead of chasing the Dolotai guardians out of Kizar. Jan would still be by my side. I'll send your love to her for sure. Thank you, Ulakai. I appreciate what you were doing for me. Don't mention it. Slate out. Can I talk to you? No, not without a Daramon. The Almayel wants you to bring at least one Daramon to Kizar before I can help you to help me. Or something like that. So, where can I find one? Visit the villages, mingle, talk to people, gain their trust. And I promise you, one of them will give you a Daramon. 
But don't forget the most important rule. I can't forget something I don't know in first place, can I? Fair enough, so let me tell you. You never ask for a Daramon. You work until you get offered one. Can I talk to you? No, not without a Daramon. So... Visit the village. I can't... Fair enough. <laughs> nope. It's full. Hi there. Got some questions. Yes. What can you tell me about Morax? Did you try them? Oh, every woman and child in Kizar desires their sweet taste. Unfortunately, they only grow in Emiya. What is Lampe? Lampe is the preferred drink for festivities. Males don't relax without it, and males should definitely relax. We cannot brew it in Kizar. We have to import it from Bida. Do you know anything about Procriana? Procriana was the capital of Adelpha, and its most important center of knowledge, famous for its scholars, recreators, and researchers. But that's in the past. It was attacked by the invaders many moons ago, and most citizens ran away, fearing further reprisals. It's located in the northwest of Ganzar. Do you know anything about Desan? Desan is a village in the far northeast, in the hostile region of Sar. It's built on the top of stone pillars that are rich in Helidium. From what I hear, there's a massive invader presence there. See you around. Come back anytime. The Almayel hears you. I have to go now. For now. The Yods are waiting. <laughs> Can't take any more. At least for now. Do you have a minute? Can we talk? The Almayel sees you. I have to go.
That's one of the worm trails. There's free helium nearby. Here comes the reward. trail. Sweet. Move it, Slade. They're coming. Get ready for a fight. More corruption. Just. 
thing, the more rewarding. should open that plant. No go.
Fighters. Folks, I'm really gonna need that shower soon. Flash. There we go. Let's open this thing. Picked the wrong target. Hey, let's stuff our hands in that quirky thing. It'll be fun. Said no one ever.
shake my gorky hand now. No one? I wonder why. I still have undelivered gork, and I know where to bring it. Good slash should open that plant.
perfect. Do I have time for one quick arm trail? the reward. Essence Shrine. Good old slave's gonna catch that flying essence. on to me. Sting the more rewarding. one of the worm trails. There's free helium nearby. Where the hell are you going, Slade? 
here comes the reward. Corruption. Gorky Gork.
Place has seen better days. Procreanus Master Doka is the key to our capital, Ulakai. Activate it as fast as you can. My Dolotai guardians have tracked the core to the location I sent to your map. Well, let's hope it's still there. Thanks, Liat. Hey, you the Shamaz around here? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> hey. I know I look funny to you, but you look pretty funny to me. No, no, you you look fine. J just fine. It's just that. <laughs> okay, this is leading nowhere. I'm out of here. No, no, wait. I am Yizo, the laughing Shamaz. I laugh so I can forget the pain. What pain? The pain of having my once bustling home of Procriana reduced to an empty ruin of loneliness and regret. <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine, I guess. What do you do here? Well, as Procreanus Shamaz, I used to heal all sorts of Talans. Even poor, badly burned wretches like yourself. I'm not burned, but good to know you're a healer. You mean, <clears throat> this is your real face? What's wrong with it? It is your real face. Oh, now, that's funny. <laughs> this place doesn't look so active. What happened? The invaders arrived in their big metal ships, dropped bombs from the sky, killed many Talans. What was once the center of wisdom for all of the Delphers now? Uh, look at it. <laughs> yeah, that's a real laugh riot. Can you be serious one second and heal me? <laughs> okay, don't move. <laughs> okay, signing off. <laughs> that's not even funny. Happy to meet someone here. What's up? Ah. Uh, I hope there's nothing up there. I'm afraid to look. My head's still ringing from the bombs that destroyed our beautiful city of Procriana. Well, you're safe with me. I'm Slade. Cutter Slade. You can call me Rifa. It's a title more than a name. But I've worked all my life to obtain it. What's it mean? The Rifa is the head of the university. Procriana is Adelpha's cradle of knowledge. Or was. I remember the dean of my college. Kept calling me a slacker because of a movie he saw. That old scarecrow made me hate school. No offense. None taken, but are you aware that we don't accept new students? Yeah, I figured as much. Looks like the city took a big hit. After the Dolatar Guardian's ill-fated assault, the invaders struck suddenly. They took no prisoners, and reverted all the recreators they could identify. Most of the survivors abandoned the city after that. How did you survive? I was ready to revert, but the bombs spared me. I became Dean of the University after my predecessor was reverted, along with our chief and many of my students who are running to their homes. But my home is where my research is. So I stayed here. You gotta hang with Kureg. You two are cut from the same cloth. Kureg? <laughs> Old and pretentious. 
We disagree on everything. He's stuck in the past, but I am looking to the future. And what do you see? Science. Progress. Old scrolls won't lead us anywhere. We should write new ones and keep evolving. There is still so much knowledge to be discovered. What are you studying? My predecessor was on the verge of a significant breakthrough, but he got reverted on the moon of the attack. I have tried to pick up where he left off, but... Let me guess. You need more funding? I don't have any Zorkins to spare. No. It's Kurek. That old wrinkled morag. The bombs not only damaged his ears, but destroyed his reason. He collected my predecessor's notes and won't let me near them unless I pay an insane amount of Zorkins. He has no right. So it is about money. You don't strike me as a guy sitting on a fortune. I could trade the notes for other scrolls like in any library, but the university has been completely ransacked by Thebes. There is not a single scroll left. You're both adults. Have you tried talking to him? Have you? Kurek doesn't understand anything. He knows that my discoveries on Asiors would make me famous. So he's blocking me until he comes up with a breakthrough of his own. What has he ever discovered except the mold on his precious scrolls? Asiors? Sorry, I'm not from here and the tourist kiosk was probably blown up with some other parts of this town. You haven't noticed them buzzing around? These little creatures secrete a corrosive acid. And I believe I found a way to control their swarms. Okay. You think you could turn these alien bees into a weapon? Now you got my attention. Nasiors can melt anything, even metal. The Dolatai Guardians would have stood a better chance against invaders if they had swarms of Asiors on their side. But I couldn't complete my research in time. What do you need to continue? There are Kalmar bushes planted around the university that temper the Asiors aggressive behavior. You can always use them to protect yourself from Asiors. If you bring me Asior larvae, I can use my research to breed them here and grow them into strong domesticated helpers. So they could help me fight? In theory, I can focus their attacks on a specific target, thanks to the pheromones secreted by their queen. I just need a little more time. Can you show me the queen? I don't have one. They're protected by their swarm. Too dangerous to capture. There has to be a way. I can see you share my vigor for science. I've been working on a theory. If you grab the pulp in the hive, the queen will chase you. Run back here before the pulp dries out, and I should be able to isolate the queen at the university. Did you ever get a chance to test your theories? I feel like I'm gonna get stung. Look for the Kalmar bushes, like the ones around the university. In theory, they should protect you from a swarm of lethal assures. In theory, there was a time when scholars like you believed the Earth was flat. I don't know about the Earth, but Adelpha is flat. Oh boy. How can I get the notes? Talk to Kurek. I abandoned the hope of having a reasonable chat with him. Screaming in his ear won't help either. Those notes will facilitate my work and help me to grow the larvae faster. You mentioned larvae. Yes. The more larvae you bring me, the more Asiors I could breed and control. Collect as many larvae as you can in the Asiors territory. Also, if you could get my predecessor's notes off Kureg, they would speed my progress and strengthen the swarm. See you, Rifar. Of course you see me. We both have eyes.
find. Can I talk to you? Are you returning a scroll? If you're late, it's going to cost you. It's surprising to meet a librarian around these parts. Barbarian? Yours? No! I'm Professor Keurig, the librarian. If you want to continue this conversation, the Dano Library accepts donations. Emiya, you and me. Let's go. Why would I go to Palana? What? No, listen. Emiya, Morax. Mmm, delicious. Not? Whatever. They need your help with a giant rock of some sort that is at least as old as your ears, pal. Capiche? No, no, no. I don't need more eggs. Too sweet for my teeth. Okay. You coming with me to Emiya now? Yes? Yes! Hallelujah. Let's go. Go? Where to? I heard you have some research on nasty little creatures called Asiors. Don't put them in your soup. Asiors are deadly, you fool. Read my lips. Research. Research, yes. I have highly detailed notes on Asiors from the former Refar. Wait, is the new Refar sending you? Refar, you say? Huh. Never heard the name. It's not a name, it's a title. The head of the University of Procreana. Can I have a look at those notes? Bring me scrolls that belong to the Dano Library. For each scroll, I will exchange one page of Asior's research. But whatever you do, do not share them with Refar. <laughs> of course not. Personal use only. Don't you get it? The trees, the fruits, and Mia. Do you expect me to walk to Emilia? My old legs won't allow it. I haven't left Procreana since the Dauka went down. When a Talon reaches my age, every step counts. No Dauka, no cure egg. I don't want to keep you. are you doing? Me? I'm not doing anything. I, I swear the odds. Don't hurt me. No one's hurting you. I'm a friend of the Talans. Ask anyone about Nurkan. They'll tell you I'm just an honest merchant who keeps to himself. Leave my shop, please. It's all I have left. Even my pride is gone. I'm not gonna take your shop. What is wrong with you? I know who you are. You're one of them. Them who? The invaders! You saw invaders who look like me? Like flesh and bone, not metal? After the attack on the city, they came out of their ships to make sure all the recreators were reverted. They were just like you. As I hid, I saw them execute dozens of my friends. Even my business partner. Please, don't hurt me. My memory is Zort. I will forget your face as soon as you leave, I promise. Business partner, what's your business? Oh, I suppose you've never seen a recreator workshop. It's very, very different from this shop. 
This is my souvenir shop. You talk like someone who has something to hide. No, no, no. Nothing to hide. Look, I can offer you a good discount if you leave me alone. You won't find any recreators here. They're all gone. All but one, it seems. You're a recreator, aren't you? No! I... Sword! How did you know? <laughs> I worked undercover before. You could use some practice. Don't worry, I'm not with the invaders. I didn't know there were invaders on our side. And I didn't know there were recreators left alive. I can't wait to tell Liaz about this. I... I am the last of my kind. All my brothers, they collaborated with the Dolatai Guardians. And they all paid with their lives. I have heard of Liaz, but I don't want to make the same mistake, so please... I understand. And I'll keep your identity a secret, I promise. Thank you. I'll do whatever I can to help, as long as I'm not exposed. What does a recreator do these days? I'm retired. I sometimes practice my craft on personal projects, but nothing that... No. I'm retired for good. I see. Ah, uh, too bad. Could've used someone with real skills. To do what? Not that I would be able to help or anything, but... Just out of curiosity, I mean. What would you need a recreator for? Forget I even said anything. Enjoy your retirement. Wait! Why? Some people have to fight for the Talans, and time is running short. My best recreation days are behind me, but... Actually, I can still create all sorts of things. It's in my essence to do so. Do you have anything specific in mind? I mean, I need plans. I can bring you plans. Thanks, Nurkan. Could you help me with beacons? Not really. Recreators used to craft beacons, but I don't see how you could activate them, so they'd be useless. What's the issue? Beacons are spiritual offerings. They must be recreated using the right components and precise instructions on how to combine them. But they can only be activated when in contact with hazardous or, say, hazardous inhabited material. You mean haunted objects? More like sacred? But yes, a good example would be this engraved rock you may have heard of. I think it's located near Emiya. Anyway, it's too big to carry, so kind of useless. Then I'm out of luck. Unless you are a friend of Mar at the Ulakai Museum, which is impossible since Mar has no friends except the Ulakai. And I'm pretty sure that even the tale of their so-called friendship is pretty doubtful. Wait a minute. So Mar can shoot activated beacons? Oh, yards, no. Mar can't shoot anything except maybe his foot. But he is in possession of Oru's weapon, a rudimentary device but infused with Oru's hazardous since the mighty Gorgor reverted him. Mar has it exhibited in his museum, and I'm pretty sure this was not Oru's purpose in life. I see. Help me craft powerful beacons and leave their activation to me. Check this out, Nurkan. A guy in Bida named Mirko gave me this plan. Ah, yes. It looks like a plan for a Garandar beacon. Intriguing. I could create this for you, but you would have to supply the essential parts. I'll get to it then. Nah, no space left. I know you! Do you know any recreators? Most recreators have been reverted by the invaders. 
Their alliance with the Dolatai Guardians is the reason why Procreana is almost abandoned today. A couple of them might have survived, but don't expect them to brag about their craft. Don't you get it? The trees, the fruits, and... Do you expect me? I miss you. I'm full. I know you! Look, an artifact was uncovered at the bottom of a lake in Emiya. You may be the only Talan alive to know what it is. I need your help. Can you come to Emiya with me? What's the secret code? A code? Why did I think this would be easy? If you don't know the code, I have nothing to say to you. If you do, speak now. But be aware that there won't be any second chance. A wrong password will seal my lips forever. <sighs> can I get a hint? No, I can't sprint. I'm so old that I can barely walk. But I'll give you a hint. You can find the secret code in an ancient scroll titled The Lost Art of Asking Things Politely. Can you come to Emiya with me, please? Goodbye. Lead the way. Here we are. The relic is right there. Doc, anything new? Ulukai, 
You're back! By the yawns! This is fascinating. Easy now. <laughs> Relax. The scholar's with me. It can't be. This shouldn't be here. I knew it. Is this thing going to explode? No, it's not mold. These are just plants covering the surface of the egg. Did you say egg? What kind of monster is in there? Mother? It's, it's not a mother. It's a baby. The first born Galenta in thousands of cycles. Oh my god! I'm gonna have a baby! Chief Hatzo. That's right. I am the chief, and I'm ordering you to move your piece of junk. A Galenta, baby. And loads of goo, probably. A Galenta. Like the flying worm in the children's story scrolls. This is impossible. This is stupid. Hold on. A Galenta could be a major asset against the... Enough, stranger. I won't tolerate these crazy ramblings. Always a pleasure to see you leave. Oh, it's you again! I'm collecting scrolls for this old librarian, Kurek. He's rebuilding the Dano Library in Procriana. You happen to have any scrolls from there? Uh, yes. Actually, I do have a scroll. Weavers of Legend. Why I'm not in it, Yod only knows. Can I give it back to him? Fine. Here. Good meeting you, Satil. Stay gold, Cutter Slade. Imagine the um Professor Kurag? Kurag. Remember me? I can't wait to write this in a scroll. I can't wait to study the scroll I wrote. Rayfar's going to be so jealous. Correct. I got a scroll for you. Ah, uh, the quest to rebuild the library starts with a single scroll. As I promised you, here is a page of Asio's research. Now, find more scrolls. Can you tell me more about Galenta? No Talon has ever seen one. The oldest scrolls merely repeat stories found in the ancient temples, and they are quite abstract. I'm so excited to document the whole incubation process. Good. Excitement keeps us young and curious. How long will it take for the egg to hatch? The process started as soon as the egg entered our warm temperature, but it's not warm enough for it to proceed. It needs outside help. <laughs> so what? Should I sit on it for a few weeks? We need to quickly raise its internal temperature. Find some covers, like warm blankets that retain heat. Hurry, or we could lose the Galenta forever. Is that all? We also need z dog sap. It heats up quickly under the sun. The covers and the sap will combine to form a warm cocoon to incubate the egg. I miss the old days. Chief Hatzo. That's right. I am the chief, and I'm ordering you to move your piece of junk. Could you spare some blankets for the egg? Blankets? You're right, stranger. We need covers to hide that thing from view. You should talk to Zotil and see what he has in stock. That's all for now. Bye. What's up, Zatil? Hey! Ready to sell me that shirt? I know it's not exactly the season, but I'm looking for a blanket. 
It's got to be thick and warm and large. Really large. Got anything like that? I don't. But if you dream it, I can make it. That's the burden of being a genius. Great. I'll take five large blankets. I'll pick them up later. Not so fast, Ulukai. We must discuss colors, patterns, trims. Just choose the ones you like, okay? One more thing, Cutter. To weave your blankets, I need certain materials, and... I can't leave the shop right now. What do you need? If we want these blankets to be extra warm, the fibers of the Kolvar plant would be perfect. It grows close to the hollow tree, okay? Do you have enough Kovar plants to weave the blankets? I don't, but if you dream it, I can make it. That's the burden of being a genius. Geez, can you get a little more specific? How do I find this place? Excuse me, can we adjust the attitude? If you walk west from Emiya, you can't miss it. It's a massive hollow tree. The hollow tree. Get me? Yeah, that's a huge help. Thanks. Any reason you don't want to go? It's not the safest of trees. It's haunted because of the terrible, long-forgotten rituals that took place inside of it. And it's also infested with deadly flying Kamenai. Not my scene. How will I recognize the Kovar plant? You can't miss it. It's the only plant that grows in the hollow tree. So how many plants do you need? To make a blanket? A lot. Get to it. More kovar, please. Cam and I are bad news? Uh, yeah. Hello? If you enter their territory, they swoop down and tear you apart. I could have a Zan escort me, but he stinks of meat and his fashion sense is hideous. Okay, let me get this straight. You want me to risk my life fighting a flock of killer birds to get you the plants you'll turn into a bunch of blankets? This at least gets me a discount, right? I'll give you the blankets for free. Just bring me a few extra plants for the winter. Deal. And consider adding your flamboyant shirt to the deal? No deal, man. It's the only one I have. All right, I'll get going then. You go, I'll focus on my masterpiece. Put your next delivery on the table over there. As long as the Kovars keep flowing, Zotil will keep sewing. And I still want that shirt. Hey, Azan. You got a minute? What is it? You know where I can find Z-Dog sap? There are carnivorous Z-Dogs in the swamps around Emiya. You need more than a bow to get rid of them. Good thing I left my bow at home. But I haven't shown up empty-handed either. To collect the sap, you'll have to cut the plant open. It's the only way. On my way. See you, Azan. The Gork. It's me again. <clears throat> Say Gork. I brought you some of that gork. What are you gonna do with it? Ah, gork. Oof, like watching my daddy eat oysters. <clears throat> gork you and Zarkins now. Sorry, are you saying thank you or forget it? At least I know where to find you.
Did you run out of space? Maybe our news can help you. Killer bird is just what I need. Oh, it's you again! Took a bit of work, but I found more Kovar. Wonderful! I can start working on your order right away. Come back later. Good meeting you, Satil. Stay gold, Cutter Slade. sure how this Z-Dog goo can help, but hey, at least I did my part of the job. You look worried, Greg. What's up? We'll discuss that after our urgent matter. I'll be discreet so the kid doesn't hear us. He's way too anxious around the egg, and I don't want him to freak out. So, what's so urgent? A Galenta mother uses her trunk to eat the parasites that develop on the surface of her egg. This phenomenon seems to occur 
after the shell reaches a certain temperature and releases a very specific type of... Too many details. All you have to know is the egg has parasites and we have no trunk to take care of them. So these bubbles are parasites. I see. Pay attention! I said parasites! If we don't do anything, these filthy organisms will breach the egg before it's time. The baby Galanta won't survive a premature birth. So what can we do about it? <laughs> Your tongue is not long enough, but I appreciate the gesture. Tonha! Tonha could help us, yes! And I've said, time is of the essence. You can ask Doc where you can find some Tonha, but do not tell him why. The kid already makes me nervous as it is. Do what I say, now! How many Tuanhas do you need? Don't be so cheap. One is not enough. As a matter of fact, too few of them would only slow down the propagation, but not stop it. We need a whole pack of Tuanhas to save the egg. Where can I find a Tuanha? They don't sell Tuanhas in Procreana. Ask around! Okay. See you later, then. Don't you curse at me! What's up, Moore? Find any new climbers? No one as valuable as Doc. Do any Tuan Ha merchants? I need to buy some. Then you are up for quite a journey. There are no Tuan Ha's in Amir, or anywhere close for that matter. So where can I strike a deal, then? Your best chance is the village of Bida. Kartak is breeding exceptional Tuan Ha's there. Heard you can even ride some of them, which sounds quite sick. Kartak from Bida. Understood. Tell Kartak that more sent you. You get the best price. Him and me go way back. <laughs> I remember once we had so much lamp here together that. Hmm. Scrap what I just said. Don't tell Kartak anything. Don't mention my name at all. Um. Okay. Thanks anyway. Thanks, Moore. See you around. Tell Doc he can come back when he runs out of Zorkins. Or dignity, whichever comes first. Chief Hatso. That's right. I am the chief, and I'm ordering you to move your piece of junk. Do you know where I can buy Twanhas? There are no Twanhas in Emiya. You have to travel as far as Bida to find a merchant willing to sell you one. Feel free to go and stay in Bida, please. I wish I could stay longer, but... You have to go? Good. Hey, Doc. How's the egg? Look! Do you see those strange bubbles on it? I can't figure out what they are. You know where I can buy a Twanha? There are no Twanhas in Amiya. We wouldn't interfere with the sweet smell of the village. Hatso's orders. You should ask more about that. His network of merchants is larger than mine. But why would you need Twanhas? Is there a problem with the egg? A problem? <laughs> what problem? Ah, it's all good. Trust me. Come see me anytime. Do that. Mirko, come here. Mirko. Oh, hey. How are you? Do you know an old Talan named Kureg? I remember him. He used to work at the Dano Library in Progriana. He's still there. He's got plans to rebuild the Dano Library, but he's missing a lot of scrolls. Oh, wow. Really? I actually have one of his scrolls. Fay Fun Homemade Fireworks Explained. Ooh, the late fees on this must be killer. Can you give this back to him? 
Don't tell him I took it. I found the last recreator. Not the bravest guy, but he's got skills. What? That's amazing! Does he need an assistant? I don't know. Marzo needs you here, right? Yeah, but I mean... Uh, forget it. Look, when everything's said and done, I'm sure Nurkan will be delighted to have a brain like yours around his workshop. It's just not the right time. Uh, you sound like my dad. The son of a brewer becomes a brewer. Who will teach your son to become a brewer? Blah, blah, blah. I heard it a thousand times. See you, Mirko. You know where to find me. Hey, Kartak. Have you brought my knee cock back? Hmm, I'm not sure. Moore sent me to buy some Twanhaws. That tall Zord owes me a brand new knee cock. That's gonna cost you. Look, the animals aren't even for him. I say you throw me your best price, and I'll talk to Moore about his debt. How about that? You're lucky that the Twanha business is slow. Take them, but don't you dare come back without a knee cock. Or you'll get the high season treatment. Assessing. Alien specimen stopped. Return to park. Stay on the road, is that it?
hope it's gonna work. Here we go. Ulukai! Look! Keurig was right! You made it! Wow. Someone's hungry. It smells like... A filthy twop, huh? In my beautiful village? They must have lost their mind! Chief Hatso. That's right. I am the chief, and I'm ordering you to move your piece of junk. Have you examined the egg lately? I checked it, and I heard it. Strange digestion sounds coming from inside. Thank the Yods for those covers, or it would be a perfect please revert us beacon. Doc knows what he's doing. I think. The same Doc who believes he is the mother of this egg? He is a fool who will get us all reverted. I wish I could stay longer, but... You have to go? Good. Meals on the house, Twan. Professor? I need a power nap. Another scroll for you, Kureg. Ah, oh, yes. This one will be the centerpiece of our collection. In return, I give you a page of Asio's research. Now, there's more scrolls out there, and I'm not getting any younger. Go! Is it working? Of course I'm working. Good job on the Twanars. They have nimble tongues and seem to enjoy the disinfecting. Now, if you would excuse me, I have to document the process as precisely as possible. You gotta go. Stop saying you were a Dolatai guardian. I don't believe you.
Complete second parkour to reach mechanical lock.
feels good. Another essence shrine. Time to catch that essence. Now that one's original. I could use that. Not a real gun. A toy made by the Ulukai as a present to Mar, in case Mar would have children, so he could teach them how to fight. But you have no children, right? So... can I have it? No! Toy was a present. It belongs to the museum. I'll buy it. Come on. Mar could use extra sorkets for the rent. Is it human tradition to sell a present? Of course. As soon as somebody gives me a useless gift, boom, I sell it. All right, then. You can have the toy. Visitors are saying that Tale of the Urukai is a children's story. They said this toy proved it because it's not a real gun. Gotta love that blue helidium. Uh-uh. Carrying too much already.
do this. Mirko, do that. Mirko, come here. Mirko. Oh, hey. How are you? I got a beacon ready for our little experiment. Really? Are you ready to train a garden guard now? It worked! This should do the trick and attract the Gotondor for the training. Whoa. What was that? That is the craft, my friend. Recreator stuff. I was learning from old scrolls, though. I could use some updated instructions. Oh, way to go, Marco. You got skills. Thank you. The device is basic, but it should work. Let's see if I can train a Garandar with the Beacon Mirko built for me.
around one of the protective facilities. You should be able to access it now. Why are you helping me? Now's not the time to explain. I need to find the codes for the rest of the bases. Listen, I gotta get back to our dimension. My daughter needs me. How did you get to this world? Uh, through the giant interdimensional portal orbiting the planet. How did you end up here? You wouldn't believe me. Look, help me reach the orbital gateway, and I'll take it from there. Personal transport units are hard to come by, but I'll see what I can do. Meanwhile... I sent the coordinates of the base to your map. Signing off. I owe you one soldier. Thanks. <laughs>
That's just what I need. A reminder that fear should never hinder collaboration between all Yod's creations. May this Daroman speak for the people of Bida. We stand with the Almayel and the Talans of Adelpha. Uh, thanks, Siron. I'll bring it to her. Don't want to be running around with B-Daz Daramon in my pocket. Should give it to the Almael now. How could you let this happen? We need to resume extraction at once. Assuming we have enough drilling experts available, the repairs will still take weeks, General. What kind of sorcery is this? Leave. HQ's reporting giant creatures under our feet. They could surface any moment.
Looks like the General's starting to feel the pain I'm bringing to his game. Keep on pushing, Slade.